This video is transformative in nature. Any gameplay and commentary displayed in this video should be considered covered under fair use law. This game is rated M for mature. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey. Oh, well that's unfortunate. Uh, well then, uh, hello everybody! Um, I don't know where I'm gonna put this into the episode, I might start off with it as a little preliminary thing, but, um, I may or may not have started the strength to social link by accident by making a persona that was already on the list. And I can't go back in time, so I'm just gonna splice this in maybe at the beginning or whatever, because I, I literally uh, load the game and these two are already talking about my social link, like, yo girl, you, you want that, you got that thing we wanted? Oh yeah, that's good. And I'm like, okay, well, that's unfortunate. It would seem. Yeah, I got what I, I got what you asked for, ladies. <laughs> Very well. I like how we sit on the floor, so we're there, we're on their level, because they're so short. <laughs> of course I do. You don't think I'm not gonna work hard? To be perfectly honest, it wasn't that hard. What list are you talking about? Hey, inmate. Wow. Thanks, Nate. Igor. I love these two. They're they're so adorable. All right. All right. With that, we'll get some more strength boosts. Not bad. Farewell. All right then. I'm not yet at the level where I want to be. Uh, Skill-wise, I was just making some personas to make farming a little easier. So, um... Okay, Matador with Magaru. That seems pretty basic. Okay, doesn't sound so bad. Anyway, uh, I will talk to you guys in the actual episode. This is probably just gonna be a cut-in or maybe something at the beginning. Uh, so, anyway... Take it away, me from the future! Well, um, thank you, past me, and welcome, everybody, to... Well, I don't actually know what episode this is, but at least I got that strength confidant out of the way. Uh, I ended up getting more money than I ended up uh, wanting, but I also ended up getting a bunch of personas that are a little bit... A little bit broken at this point in the game. I feel like I may have overleveled slightly, but that's that's kind of fine for what I'm trying to do. Because what I wanted was to get like the higher level equivalents of certain personas that we were going to need so that that way I can make stuff like our first sun persona and, um, you know, have a decent chariot, high arrow friend. Um, actually, I really just like Hypixie, which is why I made her in the first place. Nekomata is kind of useless. We, I don't even know why I have Nekomata at this point, honestly. But with that, we could probably just keep on moving forward. All right. If that's the case, we might as well head to the real world. I guess we got in as far as we could for now. Found a bunch of safe rooms, reached the central garden. Yeah, we're pretty much solid. Yeah, if that's the case, we're around halfway through. Oh. True. All right. So we basically found our first impassable barrier. How are we supposed to get past that door? Good question. No, you think there's some kind of off switch somewhere? Looks like this is where I come in. Ah, the master of the metaverse. Thanks, Mona. Mona? I have a suspicious place in mind. Remember? This shack is the basis for Madarame's palace. True. I actually scouted it out the last time we were here. Oh, so this was your plan from the start? Correct. You only went scouting because you were bored. True, we all were. You don't know how many hours you spent literally sitting in a chair. So? 
Where's this suspicious place? It's on the second floor. I noticed an unnaturally hefty lock on a door up there. It looks just like the locks in the palace. If it's locked, that means there's something in there he doesn't want people to see. True. But don't we want to be opening the door in the palace? True as well. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we just need to find something more up our alley. Maybe we need to... Well, wait a minute. Isn't the palace his cognition of the of the world, or at least of this place? Meaning, if we open the door in, in here, it'll open up in his cognition, right? Yes. And we're going to do that by opening the real one in front of Madarame's eyes. <laughs> I predicted it. Not bad. I'm already in blind territory, so I actually have no idea what they're going to be saying from this point onward. Basically, we're going to change his cognition that the door is unopenable. Hmm, makes sense to me. In other words, when we open the one in Madarame's house, that area in his palace will open on its own? Huh, not bad. I'm not really getting it. Uh, is that gonna work? Trust me, there's no chance it won't open. I think. Uh-huh, and there's with that I think again. You understand, don't you, Joker? Of course. And to be, par to be fair, can't hurt to try. Well, yeah, but... Why don't you trust me? It's worth a try. <sighs> it's true. Mona knows more about the metaverse then, than we do. There's still that hefty lock we have to deal with in reality, right? Mm, true. Mona, can't you pick that lock even as a cat? Uh, that'll be a breeze. Just give me a hairpin and I'll handle it. It will take some time, though. Doing everything by myself in front of Madarame would be impossible. If only there was someone who could distract him for a while. Huh? Oh. oh, wait, that's right. Anne's the only one who can actually come in, right? Man, how are we even gonna get into his house? <laughs> We'd get reported for sure if we force ourselves in. What? I guess the only way is having you go nude. <laughs> what? What good line delivery. I love it. Fancy you say that, Ryuji. I was just thinking the same thing. This isn't funny! I'm not saying you should really get naked. It's simply the best excuse for you to enter Madarame's house without raising suspicions. Yeah, you could do a whole bunch of stuff. Hell, you could just be really coy. So we'd like for you to play the role of decoy, Lady An. This is way too sudden! I mean, I don't even know where the locked door is! Don't worry, I'll accompany you. All right, if we got Mona going with you, we should be fine. But what about us? Still technically only me. Worst comes to worst, what if I get found out? We can run into the palace. Or something. Is that really gonna work? I mean, you're not giving me much confidence in this plan. Do I have to be the bait? To be perfectly honest, it doesn't seem like there's any other way. But what if, you know, uh, um, nothing. Yeah, no other choice. All you gotta do is trick Yusuke, have him take you to that room, then just open the door. Well, since Mona knows where it is, I think Mona could just pick the lock. We could have it be, you know, unlocked by the time he gets there. And then all you have to do is stumble your way in while Madarame comes back. You make it sound so easy. Yeah, well, that's kind of how plans do. But if there's no other way, I don't... Uh, I don't... I don't have a choice. Ugh, God! <coughs> Fine, I'll do it. For justice. Seriously, you better pull this off. I guess Anne is really our femme fatale. If it's for your sake, Lady On, I won't stop scratching even if all my claws were to break. Ah. Oh. We'll be counting on you, Morgana. Don't let Yusuke notice you, all right? If he tries to force my clothes off, I'll tear that house down. I'm really gonna lose it if we do all this and the palace door doesn't open. Got it? Don't worry. We're working to get dirt on that guy's crimes either way. It won't go to waste. Yeah, even if it doesn't open, I'm sure there's something in there he doesn't want people to see. All right, let's get down and dirty tomorrow. Tomorrow? 
Earlier the better. True, I agree. Um, but uh, will Kitagawa kun agree? Will this force my game to actually go? Um. Well, I uh, will see. I guess. I don't know. Just say something like, "I really need it to be tomorrow." That should work. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure he'd be, you know, flattered. Well, we had a hefty long day, but let's see if there's anything else that we could actually do today that might work out a little bit better. Okay. All right. Considering the fact that we went to the palace, I don't think there's very much we could do today. <laughs> Strip for him, man. <laughs> All right. Door and my remember sees it, right? It should be relatively easy. Where have you been? Been searching all along. Now then. Yeah. I'm facing quite a so if Madarami's cognition of reality changes, it's only natural that his palace would be affected. I guess that's true. That's kind of what I was assuming. When you say it's it's a matter of cognition, it's what he how he sees the world, even if it's an exaggerated view of the world. Hmm. Hey, so Jiro, what's going on? Now listen up. All right. Let's check the TV. If you punch someone and hurt them, you've committed bodily harm. Now consider these two cases: A. Unconsenting cutting of hair. B. Using noise to cause distress. Which of the two would be considered a case of bodily harm? You be the judge. Um. Oh god, this is supposed to be a trick question, isn't it? Because my brain is telling me to, to do cutting of hair, but I have this feeling that um, the hair in Japan probably isn't considered part of the of the body, but the ears are considered cause of the body. So wouldn't noise be affecting the ears, causing physical harm? God, this is really confusing. Uh, I'm, you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna stick with my gut on these uh, on these questions from now on. How is that bodily harm? Okay, I, I, was, I was taking a guess, but really. Shrubs the body's functions, it counts as bodily harm, even if there's no physical contact. Hair grows back, so that doesn't count as a wound. That'd be a case of assault, not bodily harm. Okay, that makes sense. Hmm, that's, uh, that's relatively interesting, actually. Still not enough for that knowledge boost, I see. Alright. Alright. Let's see here. Is that all we can do? Oh, yeah, sure, Morgana, we'll go to sleep. God, this is a really good song, actually. I'm so depressed. Oh yeah, that beef bowl place we work at. I forgot about the fact that they literally only hire uh, like one person at a time, which is really annoying. Yeah, we've been getting a lot of proficiency bonuses from it, so it's probably worth doing if we uh, have a free night and need some cash. But I probably won't be doing it up very often. Yeah, let's see what score I got. I guess we got into the middle point. Nothing outstanding, but nothing great either. That's kind of how um, the persona, the early persona uh, formula kind of works. Your knowledge is too low to actually get anywhere. Hmm. A lot of, I'm up a lot. I heard he gets real drunk there and brags to his coworkers. Is there any good chance for us? I mean, if you're so concerned about the track team, Ryuji, I don't mind going with you. But dude, he'd notice you. Yeah. Alright, that's probably gonna come at a later date then. Alright, Yuji. Sounds like a plan. 
We'll be counting on you. Hmm. What do you mean? What? Oh, I see. Okay. That makes sense to me. Couldn't we just break the, the lock? To think you'd really come. I assumed you were lying when you contacted me. I'm sorry it was so sudden. Oh, it's not a problem. But, as I told you yesterday, Sensei will be returning in about 20 or 30 minutes. So, um, I'm sorry if that causes some anxiety on your part. That's why I'm here today, damn it! What was that? Oh, no! It was nothing! By the way, have you gained some weight? Oh my god! I weigh the same as always. <laughs> Maybe I'm bloated today. <laughs> Did you just put on like a fucking ton of sweaters? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Trying not to peek my microphone. This is amazing. So then, can you um get ready here? I need to take my clothes off, right? Yes, please. I'm embarrassed. Uh, could you look the other way? How in the hell is she gonna get all those sweaters off? Holy shit! <sighs> oh. oh. Right? No, I'm doing this for art. It doesn't seem like he's doing it just for art anymore. Don't look over here, okay? Hey, your sensei's coming back soon, right? I believe so. Hmm, do you think we could do this somewhere else then? A little more atmosphere would be lovely. This should be good enough. But wouldn't a room with a lock be a bit better? God, her acting is terrible. <laughs> Must a girl say more? Uh, but the only one with a lock is Sensei's room. Then why not there? I can't intrude. Besides, I don't have the key. <sighs> he says he doesn't have the key. It's okay. That's why I'm here. I'll just use this hairpin. Takamaki-san, are you about... Oh, well... You were wearing all this? Jeez, that's a huge pile of clothes! Was she wearing an extra <laughs> pair of shoes? Cool today? <laughs> no, seriously, was she wearing an extra pair of shoes on top of that? Where did the boots come from? How did she fit the boots inside the shoes? What, how does, how does this, what, what is happening right now? I suppose so? The sun is starting to set. Oh my god. Right? That's why a change of location would be nice. I think she's talking slow on purpose. I mean, I'm gonna take it all off. True. It might make for a better picture if I can brighten my model's mood. Uh-huh, that's right. She may even be willing to try out various expressive poses for use in a dynamic composition. What kind of poses? Man, this dude is either really dedicated to art or incredibly horny. Lady on, you have to act. Get back in character. Her character sucks. <clears throat> Let's go. I was just starting to get in the mood. God, her acting is so awful. Wait. If you wander around, Sensei will... Probably not care. Oh, it's so hot. We really can't use any other room. Hey, why not this one? Oh, she's really going for it. Please wait. I'm counting on you, Mona. Seriously gonna be able to pull this off? She was saying stuff like, I'll just seduce him with my acting, but that sounds out of her league. Yeah, her acting kinda sucks. 
Plus, we ain't got one sign this place is gonna open. Isn't Matarame coming home soon? On top of that, even if Mona's able to unlock the door, how's it gonna show it to Matarame? Well, I mean, all they have to do is go into the room, right? Open the door in front of him, literally. And then even if they do show it open, any normal person would just close it right up again. Then go inside the door, dumbass? Doesn't that mean we only got a few seconds to get in? Then we gotta make it fast, bro. God, I love for Yuji. I'm just kidding with him. To be blunt, won't it be a miracle if this works? Hmm. It'll definitely work. Have some confidence. I that too, but... It's almost time. Yeah, let's do this. Oh, God. Please, can you just wait and... Those short shorts. Oh, jeez. What's past here? How much clothes did she have on? That's... So the door Mona mentioned is up ahead. I keep telling you, you can't! You're still not done? It's hard to do this with cat paws. Uh, is something the matter? Oh, um... So... What is this room? It's a storage area for old paintings. Why would that be locked? Storage. Hey, Kitagawa-kun. Why don't we do it in here? I won't be embarrassed if we go somewhere nobody can find us. Only Sensei can go in there. That Dit's personality is not working. You need to you need to work on your acting. You know what? I think I'm going to buy her some improv classes. I think this might be really beneficial for her. alone with you god somewhere like quiet <laughs> you know where we won't get interrupted is he really going to buy that terrible act he doesn't seem all that intelligent mona just keep working stay focused hmm? oh it's just so frustrating that my feelings aren't getting through to you. Kitagawa kun, do you not like girls like me? No, th that's not true. How is that working on him? He seems kind of dumb, but I like it. Please, we can continue this inside. Sh sure. I mean, no. We can't go in there. Ha! He had a moment of weakness. We got this. Uh, it's locked anyway, so... Fine. This is too embarrassing. Oops. Let's just do it in here, okay? What do I do? I think my brain is subconsciously wanting me to stop listening to the terrible acting. I'm home. Oh, crap. S sensei Yusuke? All right, it's open. Huh? What are you doing there? It's it's not what it looks like. Wait, what? Did Oh. <laughs> I didn't see a dialogue option, so I was like, what the heck ha what the heck happened there? Did the game freeze? Not in there. Uh oh. I guess it's start time to shine. Security's down. They seriously did it. I can't believe they pulled it off. They sure are amazing. Got to admit. Yeah, for real. Wait, we don't have much time. Let's go, Let's go in. All right. Let's go quick. All right. Hmm, it doesn't matter. Let's kick some tail, man. Just me and Ryuji, huh? <laughs> well, we have to beat it. Hey. All right, if that's the case, let's see. What persona should we use? Oni seems like a pretty strong bet. I don't know if this thing's gonna have any weaknesses, but at the very least, as long as he can't knock me down, it should be fine. Sorry.
Oh wow, Nue! I really like Nue's design. I always have. They got past the security system? I don't know how we ended up doing it, but... You cannot go any further. You are trespassing on Lord Matarame's territory. So what? You guys ain't got nothing on us. I'm more scared of screwing up and having on yell at me. Yeah, same here. Let's go. Alright then. Let's just do giant slice. Holy crap, am I that overleveled? Oh my god. It's not like I have this on easy, I know I have this on normal. That's it? Oh, maybe it wasn't a mid-boss. Though it did give us a ton of money. Or maybe I just got really lucky that it crit. Okay. That was literally the easiest thing we have ever done, Ryuji. Alright then, let's not do that again. Takamaki-san, this is bad. Where are the lights? Are these the lights? Huh? What the... Isn't this Sayuri? Why are there so many of them? So then look... I off. have no idea. Get out! Sensei, what is the meaning of this? I suppose I can't keep quiet now that you've seen this. Truth be told, I'm in severe debt. I handmade these Sayuri copies and have been selling them through a special connection of mine. But why? The real Sayuri was stolen by one of my pupils long ago. I assume they begrudged my strictness. That moment was quite a shock for me. Since then, I've been mired in a terrible artist block. Because of this distress, some of my pupils handed their ideas over to me from time to time. Uh, we know that's not true. I knew I couldn't keep that up, so I attempted to recreate the Sayuri a number of times. However, it resulted in nothing more than replicas. That's when someone came to buy the paintings, knowing well they weren't original. It's all my fault. I couldn't pay the price of being famous. As expectations for me rose, it reached a point where I had no choice but to keep making them. I needed money to further your talents. I ask that you please forgive your cowardly teacher. Well, at the very least you're a better actor than Anne is. But I can see through the bullshit. Please, don't. Hold on, something doesn't add up. If the original painting got stolen, how did you make copies of it? Yeah, it's a good point. I happened to find a finely detailed photograph of it in an art book. Why would you need that? So you managed to sell copies of a photo of the original? I'm not sure how this works, but don't people who buy paintings generally have a keen eye for the fine arts? Hmm, good point. Mm, this sounds like a lie to me. What would you know? Something just doesn't feel right. Lady On, this one seems different. Hmm, what about this painting? Sayuri. This... This is the real Sayuri. But you just said a moment ago that it was stolen. That's a replica. No, it's nothing of the sort. Yeah, he would know. This painting kept me going. It's the reason I made it this far. Sensei, don't tell me. It's fake. Yes, a counterfeit. I heard there was a counterfeit spreading around, so I bought it. So you're telling me the actual artist behind the painting bought a counterfeit? That's pushing it. Yeah. You're telling me you made replicas off of a counterfeit? So you made counterfeits of a counterfeit? God, that's dumb. You're lying, Sensei. Please, just tell us the truth. You too? I've reported you to my private security company. What? 
I had it set up to deal with some problematic paparazzi, but I never thought it'd come in so handy. Please, wait. Let's talk about this. You can talk all you want to the police. That includes you, Yusuke. Lady On, let's run! A cat? Where did it... There's no point. They'll be here within two minutes. Takamaki-san! Get out of there, Anne. Yeah, let's go! Alright, let's find the security room. I wonder if there's anything around here, actually. I'm pretty sure that's a security room, but I want to see if there's anything I can pick up while I'm here. Can't go deeper in. But we can totally steal this! I can feel it. One sooty kettle, not bad. Is that all we got? Apparently. Unfortunate, but that and this are pretty much all I can get. An, un an unsigned mug. Well... That's eh, better than nothing, I guess. All right. Well, I'm assuming it's the only one that's on. All right. Mission complete. Way to go, Skull. All right, let's get out of here. No point in continuing, right? Whoa. By ourselves, we can't really handle that many shadows. Look at that. Security system's right. down. I hope those two managed to get away. I'm sure they did. No! You guys! Wait a minute. Why would you drag Yosuke in with you? Oh. I thought I was gonna die. Uh, hey, uh, will you let go already? Oh, jeez. Oh no, I didn't mean to push him so hard. Are you okay? Wake up. Who are you all? Don't worry about it. Uh, calm down, Kitagawa-kun. It's me. Kamaki-san, that means you two are... I don't recall ever seeing this cat costume before, though. What is this place? Costume? We are inside Madarame's heart. Inside Sensei's heart? You might not understand it all at first. I'm sorry, Takamaki-san, but are you sure you're feeling okay? She ain't lying. This is what that bastard truly feels. Nothing but a greed-filled money grubber. Enough of this rubbish! Kitagawa-kun, didn't it cross your mind that something wasn't right about Madarame? It crossed our mind the second we met him. <sighs> That's... Uh... And you live with him. You may not want to believe it, but this is another reality as viewed through Madarame's eyes. This is his true nature. This gaudy, messed-up world. This repulsive world? Just who are all of you? I guess you could say we're a group that changes the hearts of rotten crooks. If everything you say is true, then the sensei I know doesn't exist. That's what we've been trying to tell you. You gotta snap out of it. Still, he has kept me safe these past ten years. My gratitude for that won't just disappear. Maybe he has a reason. You're gonna forgive him? At this rate, you'll... Are you okay? This place must be affecting him. I'm trying to be rational about this, but my emotions are overwhelming me. I think it has to do with this place. Sorry, but we don't have time to dawdle. The security level's gone through the roof. We need to get out of here at once. This might be a good idea. Here, lean on my shoulder, man. No, it's all right. You sure? Well, this place does have the uh, uncanny yes. ability to draw out people's emotions. All right, if that's the case, you're probably right. Let's not get into too many fights. It could cause trouble for him. Or there won't be any fights. How could this be?
Yeah, this is what he truly sees. Oh, Mona's not with us now. I guess it auto-equipped uh, him. <laughs> oh, I guess they're not really paintings, they're just objects. Decoration. That makes more sense. Yeah, let's get out of here for now. Wait. I always want to check for treasure, dang it. The exit is right there! <laughs> Who is it? <laughs> Talk about bullshit clothes. First a king, now some kind of shogun. Welcome to the museum of the master artist, Madarame. Huh? I can't believe this is the first time we're seeing him. Sensei? Is that you? That attire? Disgusting. This... This is all one big lie, isn't it? My usual ragged attire is nothing but an act. Besides a famous person living in that shack, I have another home. Under a mistress's name, of course. <laughs> Vanity at its finest. This is so absurd that I'm almost impressed. Hmm. Such insincerity. No shit. If was stolen, why was it in the storage room? And if you had the real one, why make copies? If it's really you, Sensei, please tell me. Foolish child, you still don't see? Painting being stolen was just a false rumor I spread. It was all a perfectly calculated staging. Why would you hurt your own image like that? What do you mean? Let me see. How does this sound? I found the real painting, but it can't go public. You can have it for a special price, though. Haha! <laughs> How's that for preferential treatment? Art snobs will eat it up and pay good cash at that! No. The worth of art is purely subjective. Thus, this is a legitimate business transaction. God, this is disgusting. Though I doubt a brat like you would ever come up with such a brilliant scheme. Brilliant? It's downright repulsive. You keep going on and on about money this, money that. No wonder you ended up with this disgusting museum. You're supposed to be an artist, right? Aren't you ashamed of plagiarizing other people's work? Don't you have any honor? Art is nothing but a tool. A tool to gain money and fame. You helped me greatly as well, Yusuke. God, it pisses me off. That's your teacher. <laughs> well, I guess that does explain why Ryuji was extra mad, but we didn't know this until now. But what about the people who believe in you? Who think you're a master artist? I'll tell you this alone, Yusuke. If you wish to succeed in this world, I'd advise you don't rise against me. Do you believe anyone could find success with my objection holding them down? <laughs> How influential in the art world is this asshole? To think I was under the care of this wretched man. You thought I took you in out of the goodness in my heart? Plucking talented yet troubled artists allows me to find promising pupils and take their ideas. After all, it's much easier to steal the futures of children who can't fight back. I can't believe this. Livestock are killed for their hide and meat. This is no different, you fool. But I tire of this little chat. It's time that I... You are unforgivable. Mm. It 
doesn't matter who you are. I won't forgive you! So, you repay my keeping you around for all these years with ingratitude? You damn brat! Men, dispose of these thieves! Yeah, you can try. Get back! How amusing. Huh? <laughs> It seems the truth is stranger than fiction, huh? Kitagawa-kun? Dude, you alright? I wanted to believe it wasn't true. I had clouded my vision for so long. My eyes were truly blind. Blind and unable to see the true self behind this one horrible man. Have you finally come to your senses? <laughs> How foolish to you have averted your eyes from the truth. A deplorable imitation indeed. Best you part from that aspect of yourself. <laughs> Let us now forge a contract. <laughs> I am now. Thou art I. Oh, Jesus. The world is filled with both beauty and vice. It is time you teach people which is which. Very well. Come. Go on! Oh, A breathtaking sight. Imitations they may be, but together they make a fine spectacle. Though the flowers of evil blossom, be it known, abominations are fated to perish! Whoa, this is impressive! <laughs> Who do you think you are? The price for your insolence will be death! Where are my guards? Kill them all! The children who adored you as father. The prospects of your pupils. How many did you trample upon? How many dreams did you exchange for riches? No matter what it takes, I will bring you to justice! <laughs> Let's see what you're made of, rookie. Very well, bring it on! Now there's a face I can get behind. Alright then! Ipon Datara, is it? This will be cake. You are in the presence of Lord Marwame. So what? On your knees, intruders. I learned much from you, Marwame. In order to see authenticity, one must be dispassionately realistic. <laughs> now you're getting it. With going on by my side, I can now ascertain your true self without any reservations. All right then. Going on. Let's knock them down one by one. I am thou. Go on, on, strike! I really wish he started with a more... ...heavy ice attack. Let's go. Go on, on, strike! I don't think Evil Nathar is gonna be weak to, uh... Yeah, had a feeling he wouldn't be weak to ice. Let's go. But I feel like going on a rampage. Whew, I can't believe that worked out so well. Let's do it. It feels like Oni's a bit overpowered right now. I mean, whew, that's a lot of money. Yosuke, you all right? You've just thrown your bright future down the drain. I'll destroy every chance you've ever had of becoming an artist. It'll be a little bit harder to destroy a dream, Matarame. Matarame. You'll forever rue the day you dared defy me. Get back here. Hey, man, calm down. Kitagawa-kun! 
Why can't I move? It's always a little tiring after this happens. Listen, you're totally drained. You can't do much even if you wanted to. What a disgrace I am. Come on, just listen to her. You've known for quite some time, haven't you? I'm no fool. Strange people have been coming by for years. And the plagiarism was an everyday affair. Yeah. But who would want to admit that the man they owed their life to was doing such terrible things? Why didn't you leave, Kitagawa-kun? Well, he is the one who painted the Sayori. On top of that, I owe him a great debt. Are you even sure he painted the Sayori at this point? There's been so much plagiarism. Who knows how far back this goes? You mean because he raised you? I never knew my father. I was told my mother raised me by herself, but she died in an accident when I was three. I'm sorry. That's when Sensei took me in. I heard he helped my mother while she was still alive. Heard? To be honest, I don't remember much about my mother either. I'm so sorry. I did everything I could for Sensei. I thought of him as a father. But he changed. To think he would treat the Sayori. The very foundation of his art like that. A lot's happened to you, huh? Ryuji, a little bit of tact, please? When you had mentioned plagiarism, deep down, I knew you were right. That's why I so vehemently denied you. I was simply running from the truth. I'm sorry. It's alright. Sometimes the truth is hard to face. I understand. I'm grateful for the chance to face what I have been denying all this time. You're way too serious, man. Yeah, don't worry. We'll lighten you up a little. That's why you're always getting stuck in your own head. Look at me. I just go with the flow. Yeah, but you going with the flow has cost us quite a bit, Ryuji. For real. What are you going to do now? I don't know. You know, we could always use an artist. We can't help the fact that Madarame's gone and changed. But, we can change his heart. We'll make him pay for his crimes. That reminds me. You mentioned something about that change of heart earlier. Have you heard the rumors? The ones about the phantom thieves that steal hearts? You're looking at him. <laughs> Don't tell me. Yep. Oh crap! We'll talk later. We need to scram! Yeah, it might be good to just get the heck out of here. When did my clothes change? You're noticing that now? You just noticed that now? God, I feel like this game just knows me at this point. Is Ryuji just me? My friend said that, uh, one of my friends said that Ryuji sounds a lot like me. So this is a little bit weird. Am I that dumb? Eh, yeah, probably. Let's go. All right. I see. And because of that, this PE teacher's had a change of heart. Yeah. Pretty much. Phantom thieves who steal hearts. To think they truly exist. <laughs> We're right in front of you, buddy. Indeed. Well, I have to believe your words, especially after seeing a world like that. So, your plan with Madarame Sensei? Basically, find his treasure, steal it, and have him confess his crimes. With Madarame, is to force a change of heart, correct? Let me join, as a member of the Phantom Thieves. Eh, a little bit more manpower is always beneficial to us. Had I faced reality sooner, this may have been avoided. I must put an end to this, for the sake of the others whose futures as artists were robbed as well. That is the most civil thing I can do for the man who was, 
In some manner, my father. Civil, huh? Hmm. Sounds fine to me. We're gonna deal with Madarame anyways. We could always use an extra hand or two. He may have a mental shutdown if we screw up. We have ways to prevent that, but they aren't failsafe. We really should come up with some more failsafe methods. Remember how we mentioned this on our way here? Madarame is a man who has the art world under his thumb. He has connections to many organizations. If someone like me raises my voice, it'll only be snubbed out. We have no option but this. Kitago Akun. It's a deal then. We have a new member in the Phantom Thieves now. Not bad. I hope we get along, Yusuke. You better not slow us down. I'll do my best. He seemed pretty strong for a first time fighter. <laughs> well then. Uh, welcome aboard, but I kind of want to do- oh, and, uh, no nude paintings? I'm pretty sure Anne does not appreciate that. Uh, so that was all a plan. Well, that's quite daring, Takamaki-san. It wasn't my idea, it was theirs! What else were we supposed to do? It's his fault for going on and on about the nude modeling thing. I haven't given up on that yet, though. <laughs> you should. Give it Oh, that reminds me. I wonder what's going on with the real Matarame. Yusuke and I were in a pretty tight situation. What ended up happening? Actually, I contacted him before we came here. He believes that I continued pursuing Takamaki-san. And, just as you all explained, it appears he knows nothing about his shadow. They seem like separate entities until they combine again. What did he say? He was complaining to the security company how they couldn't even catch one high school girl. However, he's still furious about it, and said that he's going to take legal action against everyone. Talk about being completely on guard. God, why is it that everybody resorts to this sort of thing? Legal action? He's acting way too desperate. Well, we did invade his quote-unquote home. Maybe he still has more secrets. If he were to act, it'd be after the exhibit is over. Any scandal during the show would be his loss. Hmm. So we still have that same time limit then. Right when I think the talk about being a nude model is over, this happens? We'll have to force a change of heart before then if we're to dodge this legal action thing. Looks like our plan must be accomplished while the exhibit is still open. So we have the same time limit Yeah, so the same time limit as before. Damn the stupid big tongue. By the way, what is this? Huh? A cat. Yeah, pretty basic. But it's talking. You have a problem with that? No, not really. Wow, you accepted that I way not. quicker than we did. He's just on a different wavelength than other people. Artists, am I right? Do you wish to draw me? You better bring out the best of me in that case. <laughs> hmm. Hey, don't touch me like... I was thinking of ordering some black bean jelly. I bet he got that idea from a black cat. Huh. Oh! I didn't bring any money. You did leave the house relatively qu fast, didn't you? Never mind. He's just weird. Hey man, don't worry. I, I got this. You'd be surprised at how much money you can make in a, in a palace like this. Whew. Can we actually do anything today? Or was that just a wasted day? Yeah, yeah, Sojiro, don't you worry. I promise we'll be nice and civil. No, no, no. He doesn't know that we're doing that, though, Morgana. It really does sound problematic. Oh, no. Yeah, this time we're actually having a little bit more risk than before. Being expelled, you know, that was a little bit low, but now if they take legal action, we're screwed. Plus, I'm already on probation, so I'm especially screwed. Hey. Alright. Maybe we should take a little bit of a break from going into Madarame's place. Is there anything else on TV? Hmm. 
Just a little bit more talk about Madarame, huh? To be fair, I wasn't expecting the knowledge boost from before, so we'll see what comes up from that. But anyway... Uh, let's stay up for a little bit longer. We can't exactly go anywhere, but I'd like to, if I could, I'd love to end uh, the episode off here. Let me just save real fast. Wow, I spent a long time farming. Like around two or three hours. Anyway, with that, I'd like to say, you know, thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. So, see you later, everybody.